unless it's with John, uh, today it's just the two of us, okay? Alright, so, lots of chords to learn. That was the intro, okay? Uh, it repeats the same figure twice, and it also does this, it repeats that for the verse, too. So, what we learn in the intro, we're, we're uh, well on our way to knowing the whole song. So, uh, D flat major 7. Uh, let's see, 6th string ninth fret, 2nd string ninth fret, and then the 4th and 3rd string at the 10th fret. You end up muting the 5th and the 1st, and that's what we want. My strum pattern for this section, for the intro and the verse, I'm just going to do a down strum. You can use finger style or a pick, doesn't matter. Alright, so that's your first chord, D flat major 7. Then I'm going to drag my first finger back a half step. Uh, to the 6th string 8th fret, and then I want the 4th string 8th, the 2nd string 8th, and the 3rd string 9th fret. That's a C7 chord. Uh, some of you will bar, some of you would like to bar like that, or that's how you know it. But I'm going to do it like this, and uh, that's a C7. Now the next chord is F minor 7, which is right here at the 8th fret. So it's the, you, 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 uh, you bar the 8th fret, not the 6th string, and then the 2nd string 9th fret and the 4th string 10th fret, that's F minor 7, and ironically I am barring that one. But, if you don't like bar chords, that same shape that you had for the C7, if you move that exact shape right across, so you're on the 5th string, the 3rd, the 1st at the 8th fret, and the 2nd string 9th fret, that also, you could use that for your F minor 7. I do that a lot. Like if you're playing for a long time, you don't want to use bar chords. And I like the thinner sound anyway. But I figured most of you are going to use the bar chords, so that's what I went with. Alright, so not to confuse you too much with all the chords, but here, here's, uh, here it is to this point. D flat major 7, C7 to the F minor 7. Then all you have to do is take that chord and move it back to the 6th fret. Okay, so that's an E flat minor 7. We're going to hit that one and then go right to an A flat 7. So the E flat minor 7 and A flat 7, those, uh, those share, uh, they're, they're one beat a piece. So they're, um, the other chords had two beats. So one, two, three. So that's the only part in the intro that's different, okay? Uh, oh, except the last chord gets four beats, sorry. So, E flat minor 7, you bar the 6th fret, not the 6th string, 2nd uh, string 7th fret, 4th string 8th fret, okay? And then the A flat 7, the next chord you just bar 6 strings this time at the 4th fret, 3rd string 5th fret, 5th uh, string 6th fret. That's your A flat 7. And now you're good because now you just come back up to the D flat major 7, the C7, and then the F minor 7 again. And that one, that last one gets four beats. And that's where you repeat. So D flat major 7, C7, F minor 7, E flat minor 7, A flat 7, D flat major 7, C7, and then F minor 7. Okay, so that is the intro and the verses to the song. Uh, I'm not going to go and play every nook and cranny for the whole song. It's going to take too long. So, that's really all you need. Um, and now you got the chorus, okay? Now the chorus is, um, uh, it, it adds one chord. So all you really need, and I'll show you, it's uh, you bar the 7th uh, the, uh, <laughs> fret 5 strings. So not the 6th string at the 7th fret. 2nd string 8th fret, 4th string 9th fret. That's an E minor 7, and you'll see how that works in in just a moment. And that's really the only new chord in the chorus, so that's good news for us. So it follows the same progression. Um, uh, I will, uh, we'll talk about the strum pattern in just a sec, but let me just play it, so. strum pattern for it. Um, I was just listening to it and he's he's sort of like
something like that. It's, I'm not real sure. If you listen to it, if you like his better, that's fine. All right. So uh, let's go over the strum pattern that I picked. D flat major seven again, and uh, and the progression repeats, which is nice for us. So it's um, you're just going to go down, down, and then I release the pressure with the left hand, and I do it down up. So it's just takes a little practice. Do the same thing on the C seven. When I get to the F minor seven, this is where the uh, the change happens. This time, instead of going like this, and then this, and then this, what they did was they went so one beat a piece on each one. So F minor seven, E minor seven, E flat minor seven, E flat seven. And what I came up with was down, down, down. So I did just did a down stroke on each one, and then release the pressure quick down up okay so you could just go if you'd rather that's fine and then you're back to the D flat major 7 C7 so the strum pattern on this F minor 7 is different it, it gets four beats so we're gonna have to come up with something longer so I'm gonna do it real slow down 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 up down So, I can't really do it really slow. Uh, I can do it fast. It's just something you practice over time and you, you're able to do it fast, but slowing it down, man, is killing me. So, down, down, mute down, up, mute down, up, down, da uh, sorry, down, and down, up is muted. So, Good luck with that. <laughs> All right, so that's the chorus. And uh, at this point in the song, they go back and they repeat the verse again, and then they repeat the chorus again. Then you have that uh, saxophone solo, you know, the little interlude, musical interlude there. So let me just play through that. new chords to learn. Sorry about that. So it's going to start with a D flat major 7, just like everything else did, for two beats. And then we're going to switch to a C7 sus4 and release it to a C7. So all you have to do is bar the whole 8th fret, 3rd uh, string 9th fret, and I'm sorry, no, 3rd string 10th fret, and 5th string 10th fret. That's your sus with your pinky. And then you go to your middle finger, which is in the 3rd string 9th fret, Sorry. That's it. So D flat major seven to C sus or C seven sus to a C seven chord. Then you go to a B major seven. Now that chord is the same thing as that D flat major seven we've been playing for the whole song, except it's at the seventh fret. So sixth string, seventh fret, second string, seventh fret, and then fourth and third string at the eighth fret. Okay, that's a B major seven. Then you turn it into a B flat 7 sus. So you bar the whole 6th fret, and you keep your pinky right on that 3rd string 8th uh, fret, and then the 5th string 8th fret. It's a B flat sus. You release it to the middle finger on the 3rd string 7th fret. That's a B flat, su a B flat 7. Alright? So, so far we got this. Then you're on A major seven. So this is the fifth string. Uh, sorry, the sixth string, fifth fret, second string, fifth fret, fourth and third string at the sixth fret. Same shape as we've been using for the whole song here. And then we're going to turn that into A flat sus, A flat seven sus to an A flat seven. And what that is is you bar the fourth fret and you kept your pinky on the third string, sixth fret, fifth string. 
sixth fret. That's the sus. Release it to the third string and fifth fret. The middle finger's right there. Okay, and then you're back up to D flat major seven and new chord G flat thirteen. So that is the sixth string second fret, the fourth string second fret, the third string third fret, and the second string fourth fret. That's going to be hard for a while for some of you. I know students have a tough time with that one, especially if you have small hands. All right, and at that point, so let me give you like the beats so that this first chord in this section has two beats. C7 sus is got one, C7 is one. B major seven is two beats. The, the sus chord and a one beat a piece. Two beats, one, one, and then two, and then two. Then you repeat. instead of two. So it gets the two beats of three and four at the end, but it gets an extra one and two beats. And then, uh, so in other words, it gets some extra time there. They pause there. And then you got D flat major seven again, to the C seven, to the F minor seven, to the E flat minor seven, to A flat seven, D flat major seven, C seven, to the F minor seven, to four beats. That is tacked on. It's the same thing as doing our intro one time if you think of it that way. So that's tacked on to the end of that saxophone solo, interlude, whatever you want to call it. All right, and then, now they play another verse. And then they play the chorus uh, over and over again, like four times, and then they stop fading. So that is just the two of us. I hoped it helped. Uh, lots of new chords for you, probably, and uh, maybe not for all. But certainly not for all. But um, thanks for watching. Play more guitar, and uh, please subscribe.